Can I introduce you? I'm going to say this is a friend of mine. That means you're a connected guy. Hmm? Now, if I said instead, this is a friend of ours, that would mean you would make guy. A kabish. I don't know if you can hear me. Can you hear me? Yes, I can. Nice. Hi. Hi. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Good. How's camp? All that stuff for this fight? Awesome. It's going great. Nice. Uh, okay. Let's start with the obvious questions. Uh, <laughs> how long have you been training martial arts and what led you there? Um, it's been five, five years now, I want to say. Yeah, about five years. Um, I never grew up doing any mixed martial arts or anything. Um, and it just, I don't know, at the time of my life, it sounded like it, I was always interested in it, but I never did it. So I started kind of late in life, I guess. Um, but once I started, though, um, I absolutely fell in love with it. Just like kickboxing, jujitsu, everything. I um, yeah, absolutely loved it right away. <laughs> I feel like that's the story for a lot of people. It's either you started watching it. Hey, that could be fun. Or you just kind of found yourself there. But then once you started doing it, it just becomes something that consumes your life. Yep. Yep. <laughs> uh, how long was it, was it into training before you decided, Hey, I kind of want to get in the cage and start punching people. Um, it's probably like, uh, I think like a year or so, but I didn't for a little bit. Um, because of COVID and everything, all that stuff happened, all the fights shut down and stuff. Um, but it wasn't too far after I wanted to fight right away, but I remember I was like, no, I'm not good enough yet. And I was kind of like, you know, so I'm, I wanted to make sure I was like prepared before I got in the cage. I wasn't someone that started training a couple of months and wanted to like hop in right away. It took a little bit, but I definitely wanted to do what I knew in the long run for sure. What do you remember from that first time walking out towards a cage and there's a crowd and now you got to go, you're going to go do this. What do you remember from that? Um, I just remember so much excitement because I trained so hard for my first fight, I remember. So I remember it was like all worth it. And like, um, I don't know, I just love it. I just kind of like zone out when I walk out. I don't really remember much until I'm like in the cage and I hear the bell and like we start going, you know. Um, yeah, so the walkouts are just kind of a blur for me, <laughs> but they're always like super exciting. I know I'm just like ready. I put all the work in. I'm just like ready to show everyone what I can do. Nice. Uh, okay, I'm going to ask you a personal question that I think you're the only person can answer. <laughs> Where does your husband's style of the jeans and the hat and the suspenders come from? <laughs> uh, he's He always is wearing different new things and trying new styles. He's always been like that. And um, it's awesome. I love it. But I'm not sure this one. He just one day was like, I'm going to get suspenders and just started wearing them and then <laughs> wearing the boots with it and everything. And yeah, so it's awesome. <laughs> it is awesome. Every time I see him, I'm just like, I don't know any coach that like this is just his <laughs> style and it fits him so perfect. It's so great. Yeah. <laughs> uh, how did you guys meet? Um, we were like friends for a while, and then um, yeah, I started dating for a couple years, and then he proposed to me within um pretty quick. Then we were engaged for about um a year, and then planned the wedding, and it'll be almost almost two years since we've been married already. So yeah. Yes. And was he already the legend Matt Coble when you met him? This grizzled uh -huh. fighter that gets in the cage and hurts people. Yep. <laughs> yeah. When you would be ringside watching him fight, what were the emotions watching him fight? Was it, I don't want him to get hurt, or was it, fucking murder that guy? I was, like, I was like super nervous watching him fight. It's, like, a different thing. Because I, I have confidence. I know he's, like, fine out there. But it's, like, different, you know, yeah. seeing him out there. I'm like, no, don't get hurt, you know, even though, like, I do it, too, and everything. But it's totally, um, yeah, a different thing when I'm fighting and he's fighting. It's, um, it's kind of um, stressful. I, I I can only assume I talked to Joe about when Joe told me you were on this card. I was like, wait, isn't that Matt's wife? And he was like, oh yeah. I was like, oh my God. Cause I can assume I've been a coach. And so I've had my mm -hmm. guys in cages and on mats and I know how nervous you are for your guys. I can only imagine what it'd be like having your significant other in there, but then also mm -hmm. for him having to coach your wife. It's just like, damn bro, that takes some balls, but good on you. Like, I love you. Like go. Um, <laughs> yeah. When you were a little kid, what movie mm -hmm. was on constant repeat that you were always watching? Um, I feel like um, The Land Before Time. I feel like that was always on for us nice. kids growing up. Nice. Um, no, I love yeah. that. Yeah. I still I love it. Uh, what was it? Ducky? Ducky was Yeah, it was my favorite. <laughs> yep. Yep. Uh, when you're in fight camp, and I know we're at the tail end of it now, it doesn't matter, but when you're at the beginning of fight camp and you're getting into the routine, what cheat meal or cheat thing are you looking to the most like at the end of the week? 
Um, I, once I start cutting weight and like cutting out things, I get pretty, I don't like really have any cheat meals, honestly. I just like, cause then I feel like I'm gonna like go back from there or something. Um, but for sure, if I could, um, and then after my fight, I always go for Thai food. I love Thai food. Um, really? Like thai food. Meal. Yeah. I love like pad to you and all that stuff. They're big rice noodles. And, um, nice. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> uh, so I don't know if you grew up watching UFC or whatnot. I'm assuming you do now, but yeah. What fighters do you look up to the most? Um, I would definitely say like a women fighter, um, Juliana Pena. She's, um, cool. I've always um, enjoyed watching her fights and her, um, yeah, I've always looked up to her. She was at actually one of my fights. I think it was like my second fight. She was there, which was kind of cool. Um, but yeah. Nice. I like that answer. Uh, all right. I will be at weigh-ins and I will see you there. So go enjoy the rest of your day. Okay, awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Once again, the show is presented by Combat Games MMA.